Hi, this video is a demonstration for lattice multiplication. Lattice multiplication is a method of multiplying large numbers using a grid. This method breaks the multiplication into smaller steps, which some students find easier. Let's say we want to find out what the product is to 26 times 34. Well, we have a top number 26 and a bottom number 34. So, it's a grid. We have to start with a rectangle. And, because there are two numbers, a top and a bottom, divide equally horizontally into two sections. There are two digits each, so divide equally into two sections vertically. Now, divide each section each box within my grid, from top right to bottom left, diagonally. This will be my grid. Now I'm going to take 26 and put it atop like this, 2 and 6. 34, I'm going to go down the right hand side, 3 and 4. Now I'm all set, ready to multiply. 2 times 3 will be 6. 6 times 3 will be 18. It's a two-digit number, so I'll have to use both portions. Now I'm going to the bottom. 2 times 4 will be 8. And 6 times 4 is 24. Now I've multiplied, but I like to extend out my diagonals just a little bit for my grid so I have a little more working space. I'm done multiplying. Now I'm going to use my addition skills. If you look closely, diagonally, there's a section here, there's a section here, and there's a section here. I'm going to add diagonally within sections. Four, there's nothing else, it's just going to be a four. Eight, two, and eight. Eight plus two is ten, ten plus eight is eighteen. Put the eight here, but have to regroup, and circle it so you remember to add it in. Now, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 6 is 8. We find the product 884. Now, if I were to multiply it the old-fashioned way, I should get the same product. 6 times 4, 24, regroup. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 2 is 10. Hold a spot. 3 times 6, 18, regroup. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 more is 7, addition skills, 4 plus 0, 0 plus 8, 7 plus 1, pretty cool, same product. This strategy can also be used for larger numbers, 3 digits, 4 digits, 5 digits, and so on. I'm going to demonstrate one more using a 3 digit number. I'm going to multiply 151 times 212. I'm going to make a larger box because now I have three digits in each number. So I need to have three vertical sections and three horizontal sections. I'm going to divide them all. Again, top right to bottom left diagonally. Then I'm going to set up my numbers. One, five, one, two, one, two. Now I'm ready to multiply. I'm going to do each number and I'm going to call these layers. So one times two is 2. 5 times 2 is 10. Place it this way. 1 times 2 is 2. Top layer done. 1 times 1 is 1. 5 times 1 will be 5. 1 times 1 is 1. Middle layer done. Go to the bottom. 1 times 2 is 2. 5 times 2 is 10. Has to place it this way. 1 times 2 is 2. Extend out just a little bit so I can see where my work's going to go. 
then we're going to add going layers. Two, one, two plus five is seven, plus one is eight, plus two is ten. Got to regroup one into this level or layer. Now I'm going to add one plus one is two. This layer, one plus two is three. The product, when I multiply, should be 32, sorry, 32,012. Let's multiply the old-fashioned way and see if we get the same product. 1 times 2, 2. 2 times 5, 10. Regroup. 1 times 2 is 2 plus 1 is 3. Hold one spot. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 1 is 1. Hold two spots. Two times one is two. Two times five is ten. Regroup. One times two is two plus one is three. Ready to add. Two plus all these zeros is two. There's a one in there with some zeros. Three plus five is eight. Plus two is ten. Regroup. One plus one is two. The three comes down. Add a comma. Isn't that cool? 32,012. Got the same product. New, cool strategy that some kids find a whole lot easier than all of our old-fashioned way. Hope your kids enjoy. Thank you for watching and have a great day.